And my tip number four is a little bit personal, but I'm telling you, this will save your cruise if, um, if this is one of your issues. <laughs>responding to some questions we got on our cruise Q&A uh, request on YouTube and so many people requested to know what we pack for a cruise and this video would be way too long if we packed all five of us but I will go ahead and share with you what I'm bringing on the cruise and you can imagine that the kids are pretty similar I send Brendan Katie and Ryan they I have the packing cruise list or cruise packing list that I've had since they were young and we've been doing cruises so they always ask for that list so they know um, how many things to bring and so they don't miss anything so I usually take care of sending them a list also a lot of people asked about the paperwork and the pre-cruise stuff that you need to do and um, I'm gonna start with that and share with you uh, we're cruising on celebrity cruises it's a celebrity summit and we did all of our check-in online and we just needed our passport and we needed, of course, our address, a credit card um, to sign in and do our pre-check on the app. And then a couple days before the cruise, you have to fill out a health screening. That is all done and we are ready to go. So let me show you. Um, first, I'll start with what I'm packing in my suitcase and then I'll share with you what the ancillary things are that we bring that we can't live without. So of course, um, I'm trying. we are on a five day cruise and I'm trying to pack in a carry-on suitcase, which I was able to do when we went on our five day cruise for New Year, so I'm hoping I can do the same here. So on this side over here, I have shoes. I am bringing six pairs of shoes, I'm embarrassed to admit. I'm actually bringing five and wearing one. So I have um, my, workout sh my workout sneakers, and in there I've stuffed my workout bras and my um, running socks as well in there. And then I'm also bringing a pair of sneakers that look like this because we're gonna be doing an excursion in Cozumel and they say to wear closed-toed shoes. I'm a little bit vain. My running shoes do not go with the dress I'm gonna be wearing. So I am bringing these sneakers for just one day, which is a no-no you should never bring in my opinion, when you're packing this light, you should never bring a whole pair of shoes for just one outfit, but I'm breaking the rule there. I'm bringing these shoes as well. I'll wear these to the pool, and then I have um, a little outfit that goes with these as well. And I'm bringing these shoes because I'll wear these to dinner, and then I'll wear these to dinner as well. I have lots of little dresses that I'm gonna be wearing, and I'm holding these out because I'm gonna wear those on the ship tomorrow as well. The good news is my feet aren't so huge, so I can fit lots of shoes into a suitcase. <laughs> In here, I also have my makeup bag, and my hair straightener, and this is my toiletry kit right here. And I sort of open it up so it can flatten out a little bit, and then I can put all of this together right on this side. Now, as far as my clothes go on this side, I have two pairs of shorts and two t-shirt, like a tank top and a t-shirt. I have two workout outfits, so two pair of running shorts and two running shirts. I have three pool cover-ups. I have a white one, a black one, and then a little terry cloth one. Then I have my jammies, my underwear, and my bras. I have bathing suits, and I always, always pack too many bathing suits, and I usually take one out, but I have one, two, three, four bathing suits. One, two, three, four, that's it? Yes, I have four bathing suits. So that's not too, too bad on a five day cruise, right? And then I also have this, which I'm bringing, which are swim shorts, because I might change up and wear this to Cozumel, because if we end up going to the beach, I want to like jump in the water, and I don't, it's so uncomfortable to wear a bathing suit all day long, but swim shorts are cool, and I have this little, Top as well and it's a swim top so I don't know I'm gonna bring that just in case throw that in there and then um, my dresses this is my favorite part we have we're gonna have five nice dinners or five dinners in the dining room so I'm bringing five dresses hold on one second okay I might be overdoing it just a little bit I have this dress just in case I want to wear it around Key West because that's one of our um, excursions I have this is another pool cover-up it's such a cute little top you just throw it on and it's so light it's seersucker I love that I have this just in case. Um, people don't seem to wear these anymore, but this is a lanyard holder. It's a, a lanyard to hold my um, CPAS card, which is my key that gets me in the room and charge things with. So I like it, it's sparkly. I think it's very cool, so I'll probably wear that. This is the dress that I might wear to Cozumel with a bathing suit under it and with those little white sneakers. 
And this is a dress for dinner. So that's one dinner dress. This is my second dinner dress. It's a little long sleeve Lily Pulitzer. And it's nice to have your shoulders covered sometimes in the dining room. It gets a little bit chilly. This is one of my favorite dresses ever. Very nautical. I'm gonna wear this dress to dinner. And then I have this dress, but I, with it, I have a little wrap because it is strapless. You guys have probably seen this before. You've been watching for a while. I love this dress. It's so very nautical and so very cute. So it's a full length. That's one. And then this one, hand-me-downs for my mom are my favorite. My mom gave me this and I absolutely adore this dress. Isn't that great? It's so tropical. It is full length. It's open in the back. And I just wear little white sandals with it. And it is like the best dress ever. It's so comfortable. So I'm really excited about wearing that one. I've never worn that one on a cruise before. Wore it in Aruba with Mike once, but not in a cruise before. So those are my dresses. I'm bringing hats because I always wear a hat in the sun. Of course, this is part of our new collection, our new cruise collection, our Live Happy Bucket hat. That's gonna be um, launching here after we get back from the cruise. I also have this little hat right here, which is one of my favorite sun hats. And then of course my little, not Western, but little um, woven hat, and I love him. I'll probably wear him with my polka dot dress. So that's it for clothes. I should be pretty good there and I will share with you what my other bag looks like. While I gathered some of my other stuff together and thought I might be able to smush some of it into my suitcase, and then I will show you my other bag. I was able to get all my clothes into my suitcase except this. This is a, it's so cute. It's terry cloth, it's a little bathing suit cover up, but it's pretty bulky. So I kind of had to forego the bulky things. Um, and also I will say this, I did have to take out my makeup and my toiletries. I'm gonna put those in a different bag. But I was able to put my little medicine bag in here with my shoes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my cards in there because it's essential. You know, we are Euchre players and we are going with another family that plays Euchre. And we have lots of cards. She also, my friend Paula also said that they just learned a game where you play with every, each person plays with their own deck of cards. And all the deck of cards, decks of cards have to be different. So there are five in our family, so I'm packing five decks of cards so we can play this game. So we have, of course, lots and lots of cards. Okay, so we're smushing those in there. Then I have my jewelry, which I forgot to tell you guys about. So I have my jewelry here. I don't, you know what? I'm gonna put my jewelry in my shoe because I don't want it to get mushed. Then also we have Zip It. I might put that in my other shoe. That's another game that we're gonna bring. And we have Bananagrams. So we are huge game players. But you just stuff those in your shoes and then nobody knows. I mean, not that they don't need to know, but it just is where they go. There we go, cards, shoes, jewelry. I'm gonna put this, this is my good necklace, so I'm gonna put this over here. Don't want that to get mushed. Whoops. All my dresses are folded up in there. Okay. Now we just have a little bananagram. All right, let me see if I can shut this. If I can, then all my other stuff is gonna go in my backpack. Watch this, you guys. Five day cruise, one carry on suitcase, and backpack. And the good news is people always say pack um, an extra bag just in case you buy stuff. I really don't buy a lot of stuff when I'm cruising, so I think I should be fine. Oh, it's heavy, but it worked. All right, stay tuned. I'll show you the rest of what we're bringing. All right, this is the fun stuff, you guys. I mean, the clothes are fun and all, but this really is the fun stuff. This gets to the nitty gritty of like, really? Why are you bringing that? So here we go. I have my um, backpack pulled up. And then I have all this stuff. I'm not sure it's all gonna fit in, so I usually bleed over into Mike's suitcase. <laughs> Mike, can you bring a few things for me? So, all right, we'll start with this. Um, this is an essential, you have to have it. Actually, this is Mike, so it does go in Mike's suitcase, but I wanted to share it with you guys, because if you're ever going on a cruise, going on vacation, certainly bring your Bluetooth speaker with you, so you can have a little music in your room, a little concert, you, you control the music that you listen to, and it just changes the vibe, it's awesome. So I'll put that over here, because I'm not putting that in that bag. Um, already in here, I have have my uh, toiletries and my makeup that I brought over from my suitcase. So I am bringing a book. I probably won't read it. I do not read. <laughs> I do not take the time to read. But for some reason, I decided um, to say yes when my, my friend just asked me to join a book club. So I'm going to try to read it. We'll see. I don't know. I'll bring it just in case. It is kind of big though and bulky, but 
I might get the chop. Okay, then um, of course all of our recording equipment. So all of my GoPro stuff is in here. <clears throat> we have two little GoPro cameras. Let me show you what this looks like. Whoa, there's a charger, two GoPros. I have this little screwdriver because one of my GoPros doesn't open so well. And plugs and chargers and extra SD cards and charger cables. So that's in here. That's gonna go in. Then I also have our floatable um, GoPro handle. So the kids, when they are parasailing, um, if they drop it, it'll float. <laughs> Hopefully it won't drop it with a little strap. And then this goes on the bottom of my camera so I can hold it and film. And it's also a tripod if I need to set the camera up. So I'm gonna bring that as well. And I'm gonna bring this little um, wine tumbler thing from Bucky's in case I want to pour myself a glass of wine and carry it around or carry it to the pool and that goes with this so we do bring um, a few bottles of wine with us on the cruise Mike has the drink package I don't uh, it's not worth it for me to do that but we do like to have um, wine you know a couple glasses of wine or a glass of wine while we're getting ready and to order it is expensive and also it takes a long time to get there and all that so they you're allowed to bring two bottles of wine per adult per room so we are um, gonna bring that this is a charger for my camera this is my little bag it's a pool bag and it folds up to nothing and it's light it's so light so like I can squish it up I bring this everywhere I absolutely love it so I'll use this also as a purse like if we go on land like I'll just throw it as a purse um, and then it's my pool bag I uh, brought my hat out. We have our passports. All of those are ready to go. I have an extra charger for my phone if it runs out of juice and I'm out of, I don't know, away. Sunglasses, AirPods, phone, suntan lotion, um, eight for Katie and Mike, 30 for Ryan and I, and then Brennan, he'll probably do eight if he doesn't need it all. He's like a little brown bear, sometimes doesn't need it. Um, this is my purse that my mom gave me for my birthday, my mom and dad, and I love this purse. So I'm gonna bring this, and this is gonna be my dinner purse, but inside it I have my little lanyard I told you guys about before, and I brought extra fingernail polish just in case my toenails chip, and then some um, clear polish as well. So put that in my bag. And this is the last thing, which is kind of funny, but it is what it is. Um, this is my salad dressing, and this is my most favorite salad dressing in the whole wide world. I call it Tastes Like Summer. Um, I really could just drink it like this. It's so vinegary, and I love, 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 love apple cider vinegar. Um, and the last time I was on the cruise, I mean, I ate a salad, I eat a salad every day for lunch. When I was on the cruise last time, um, the salads were good, but they did not have good dressing. I mean, they had the regular. They had regular Italian and actually they didn't even have Italian, they had oil and vinegar. And then they had ranch and Thousand Island and all that. I don't want any of that, this is my dressing. So I decided this time I'm bringing my own salad dressing so I can enjoy my salads on the cruise. Which leads me to the next thing. So if you're looking for cruise tips, maybe you're a first time cruiser, you don't know what to bring, maybe you've cruised before, but you're like, oh wow, I never thought about that. My three things, actually my, kind of my four tips are that yes, bring you can bring a bottle of wine, um, in your carry-on and in your room. Um, if there's any food item that you want, bring that. Like my friend who's cruising with us, she loves flavored creamers, so she's bringing her hazelnut creamer and I'm bringing my salad dressing. Um, of course, the Bluetooth speaker, that is a must, so that's another tip number three. And my tip number four is a little bit personal, but I'm telling you, this will save your cruise if, um, if this is one of your issues. <laughs> so I normally don't have an issue with this, which again, this is way too personal. The past couple cruises we've gone on, um, you know, when you're on the cruise and you're not eating the normal food that you eat, your body sometimes reacts a little bit differently. And my body has been reacting a little bit differently and I haven't been able to, you know, it's been uncomfortable. So I saw an advertisement for this and I'm like, okay, I'm so getting these. So this is the first time I'm gonna have these. They're Dulcolax soft shoes. And it's just in case, you know, if you need help going. <laughs> Which, when you're on a cruise, like there's not a lot of fiber to be eaten on a cruise. I mean, I eat a salad every day, but like when you're on the cruises, there's a lot of different foods and foods that I don't normally eat and ice cream and that kind of stuff. So 
Um, just think about that, or think about any medications that you think you might need. Uh, it's very expensive to buy in the ship, so just bring a little bit of everything. We have a little bit of everything in here. We have waterproof band-aids, we have Imodium AD, in case it's the other issue, we have allergy medicine, we have cortisone cream, we have cough drops. So anyway, oh, and we have a lot, a lot, a lot of emergency, which is the stuff that you put in, you know, when you're traveling, oftentimes you get exposed to lots of different people, which is fine, and it helps your immune system, but we also carry these, and we can drink one of these every day to try to keep us healthy. So that is pretty much my packing video. That is what I'm bringing on my cruise. I am gonna be able to fit, well, if I give this to Mike and give this to Mike, I'm gonna be able to fit everything in my roll-on, and then this, and then I might carry this as a third if I need to carry like my hats or anything in this. So this will go on my back, this will go on my shoulder and then I can roll my bag. So I'm so excited, you guys. Let me know um, in the comments down below if I've missed anything, if you have any cruise packing tips, if you have any more questions about why I brought something or why I didn't bring something, or questions about things that, um, that are cruise related or not. Um, so stay tuned to watch. We are gonna be going again on the Celebrity Summit five days out of Miami um, to Key West and Cozumel and with friends of ours, another uh, family who's friends of ours from down here in Florida, and we are so very excited. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see some of our previous cruise videos, take a look here, because that is our cruise playlist, and it's a fun one. Thanks, bye guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.